What am I going to tell the kids, though? Man, those little faces, they just want so much. Or, or, I mean, expect so much. Not so much expect as demand. They threaten even. I tell you, I tell you the, the twins pulled a knife. Hi, Ian Sung. Hey, congratulations on the 11 Second Club win. Uh, fantastic animation. I'm Brendan Gottlieb uh, with Animation Mentor. I work for Disney Animation. I've worked on movies like Moana, Wreck-It Ralph 2, Frozen 2, Raya, and recently Encanto. Uh, you can find me on YouTube at youtube.com slash 3D Render Force. That's my channel. Um, let's, um, let's, let's dive into the shot. Let's have a look at it. What am I going to tell the kids, though? Man, those little faces, they just want so much. Or, or, I mean, expect so much. Not so much expect as demand. They threaten me. Even. I tell you, I tell you the, the twins pulled a knife. What am I it's fun. It's awesome. I love it. Um, I like how you've really created a unique character here. Um, sometimes we can fall into the trap of all of our, a lot of our animation tests that we do at schools, online schools, all that kind of stuff. They, we all use the same rigs, so a lot, a lot of times our characters end up just looking the same. Um, but you've really uh, pulled away from that. Um, you really, uh, in, the, in this animation, you stand apart in that, uh, which is awesome. You've created this unique character, Santa Claus shirtless out in the snow. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun and just the environment too, like the background, uh, the snow falling, the, um, the Fox news, uh, channel banner there. It's a lot of fun, dude. It's, 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 it's really great stuff. Um, so nice job on just creating that whole world in this character. Um, so a couple things uh, to to start critiquing. Um, one is to uh, stay true to the world in 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 one sense here, uh, which is in with a news camera. Like we don't generally, if ever, see these cuts. You know, from from here, and then there's like a punch in cut because it's basically it's it's a news a, a news guy with a camera and. It's just it's him with his one camera, and so this would this would show that there's like two cameras on set, and they look like they're right next to each other, and one is like zoomed in, and one is not. Um, I get why you want to get a close up on his face. I think it's a good moment to get a close up on his face. It's a fantastic expression you got here at the end. Um, so. I would want that close up, but I don't think we can achieve that just by having a cut here. If you want a close up at the end, the way you'd want to do this is you'd go to a handheld for this entire shot. So just a little bit of movement just to show that cameraman's holding it, he's there. Um, and then right here on this cut, instead of a cut, you would do a zoom. Um, and just zoom right up on his face like you have here. And I think that's the solution. Uh, for this, and then you stay true to the medium. You stay to you stay true to real world cameras and real world uh, news channels, and I think it'll look, it'll feel more natural. It'll feel more realistic. Um, but moving on from from that technicality uh, and into the animation itself, I think there's two ways we can um, start to improve on this animation, and one is uh, simplicity. You have a lot of acting choices here, and a lot of the acting choices are pretty big. And he's he's kind of moving around a lot the whole time up until we get into this cut, in the, into the close up. So um, simplicity, and um, and then also having a consistent um, emotional arc that we can track. I feel like I'm not able to track what he's thinking or what he's feeling so much. And so I was a little bit uh, confused the first time, second time I watched it. Um, so like he's, he's so just diving into it. He's, he's really, he's got these like really sad brows. He's really concerned for the kids. And then he gets into this kind of angry face. Like he's, it sounds like he's about to call them like a mean name or something, but catches himself, which is really fun. 
but then he goes into those sad brows again and then he holds them for a while and then he gets into this kind of half-slitted like like man i don't get any respects around here which which i think is cool for the character they threatened me even. I take, I take it. The twins pulled a knife. And then he goes back into those sad brows. I take, I take it. The twins and then he knife. goes into these like, hey, this is like serious business. So I think there's a lot going on here. And I think we should we, we need to be tying a clear trail of emotion through here. And I think the way we can do that um, is kids, you could have these sad brows at the beginning. What am I going to tell the kids, though? Man, those little faces they and then i think as he gets into this angry pose like i would say just keep him there like keep him getting uh more and more upset about these kids robbing him uh the more he talks about it the more he gets upset about it well, I mean, expect and even when he says expect so much like man they expect so much they shouldn't be doing that so much not so much expect and then when you get to here I think this works really well if we're having that trail up until this point because it's going from like, oh man, I'm, I, I'm just so mad that I got robbed. I'm so mad about these kids. Um, and hey, like kids these days, like I don't get any respect from them. And so that, that that's kind of the, this, this phase here, like um, he's going from upset, upset, upset to like, resolved into like like this is life and i'm upset so um so yeah getting rid of these like up like um sad brows through here these sad expression i think is going to help a lot and just kind of get him into this headspace of just like i'm so upset that i was uh robbed like this isn't right like they took my clothes um Man, these kids, kids these days, you know. So, faces, they just want so much. and then also with, uh, I would love to like keep this moment like a lot smaller and more contained. I wouldn't want to have him like looking over so we miss his face because this is such a fun moment where he catches himself about to say something mean about these kids in front of live television. Um, and I want to see his face when when he catches himself. So so just keep him um, like this. This is really good. And I think just keep him in this zone here where he's facing. Um, and then you can have him in, stay in that zone all the way up until here. Um, I don't think you have to have him turn all the way to his the side like this and so when he's talking it's like man those like i'd love to see him make eye contact like with that person he was with the reporter he's talking to like man those kids they expect so much you know so like he like there's like some some sort of like an eye dart like oh shoot i'm still in front of camera i shouldn't say that um i'd love to see that kind of acting moment in here i think it'd be a lot of fun <laughs> little faces they just want so much or, or, i mean expect so much not so and then um so much. Or, or, I, mean, I think this expect motion with the arm coming way up here is probably too big as well or, or, i mean expect so much um or, or, I, mean, i mean i think it's cool having that kind of moment where he's throwing that arm out um i would do i would do the same sort of gesture but maybe just keep it lower like man they expect so much like just keep it low and kind of maybe going forward a little bit um but it's just a lot more contained there <clears throat> so much. not so much expect as demand they threaten me even i take i take it the twins pulled a knife and then um expect as demand they threaten me even i take i take it see. so much or, or, i mean expect so much not so much expect as demand they expect as demand. Not so much and then yeah, I would I would probably try to contain this a little bit more. Like instead of coming like way up here, like not so much expects, I would probably just do something more contained and more naturalistic, which is like not so much expects. Like his hands are kind of down here, and he's talking like this. Like not so much expect is demand. Um, so instead of going way out here and then way down here, 
Um, I think it feel a lot uh, more naturalistic if he's, you know, he's doing like, like he's throwing this out and like a little bit of this and this instead of like way over here, way out here, and then way down here. Um, it'll it'll give a more naturalistic feeling to your animation. I think a bit more genuine acting choices as well. Is the man? And then. I would love to see like these when these hands come up like under the armpits. I'd love to see them come up and get under the armpits, and then his arms like come down on those hands. Right now, um, we get that a little bit on this side, but I feel like on this side we're not getting that at all. Like his arm is already right up against his body here. I would love to see this arm like out this elbow out um where even if it's kind of foreshortened to camera that's okay and then once his arm goes in there then you then it comes it swings down so it's like it's like way up here and then it swings down onto his his hands there i think it'd be make it feel um, a lot more realistic as he's bringing his hands up. And then there's this moment, in this moment, like, you can, if you track his nose, his nose is like coming down and then it kind of hits a floor here, it comes down, it hits, and then it starts going like in an L shape. So I can try to just quickly track that for you. So here, 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 here. So you see those dots, this is how it's kind of moving in like this L shape. Uh, make sure you're tracking that nose so it goes in a nice uh, arc down and we don't get that hard L. And you can definitely like track that arc like all the way down through here into that next move right here. Um, and also you could, it starts, it definitely, I can feel it starting in the hips. Like these hips need to be uh, arcing down through here. Right now they're just kind of going straight across. So arc those hips down. And then when he goes a threat, like that's when you bring the hips up into, they threaten me though. So it'd also be a nice antic into your next uh, move. And then you could also like throw out his body, his torso a little bit more screen left. They threaten me though. And then, so basically his head could probably end up more over here, so you like just kind of get him out more, and then he can kind of swing back into this pose here after he goes out. Man, they threatened me, but I tell you, I tell you that the twins pulled a knife. Well, I'm gonna tell the kids though, man, those little faces they just want so much, or, or I mean, expect so much, not so much expect as demand. But um, yeah, it's it's a really fun animation. Um, so I'm, I'm I'm trying to find these these moments and these ways to to just really hone in on like what is this character thinking? Um, seeing his face during that moment when he's about to say something something bad and then and he corrects himself. That's always always a great thing to show the character doing. But if his if his face is turned away, like we completely miss it. And then having that consistent um, emotional arc do the shot uh, is, is something that Little faces, they just want I really feel like needs to happen so we can just track with this character. Like he's, he's upset, he's upset, he's upset. This is the way life is. They pulled a knife on me, you know? So having that arc instead of like, oh, the kids, they're so bad. Oh, but like they expect so much. And... and, and they want so much, they expect so much. 
and then oh, this is the way life is. Like it, it's kind of a harder, um, it's it's a harder track to follow going from sad to upset to sad for the kids, and then kind of like resolved into you know ah, this is how it is, and then you know kind of scared for his life at the end. So with all that said, it's a lot said. Um, simplifying simplifying uh, the ideas, the acting choices, and then having a consistent emotional arc through the shot are the two biggest things. And then see if you can do something about that camera as well. I'd love to, I'd love to have that feel like it's a real world camera, a real news ink, a, a, a news camera. It'd be a lot of fun. So nice job, Yansong. Um, hope to see more from you.